Hey, here's a Saturday challenge for you. This is episode 2438, how to have 100 people meet each other at a conference. Learning Excel from Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Uh, today, a question sent in by a friend of mine. He has a conference, 100 people coming to a conference, and he wants everyone to meet everyone else. There's 11 sessions, 10 people per table. How does he set up a seating chart for each session so everyone meets everyone one time? I don't think it can be done. But this is the power of groupthink. Someone out there has a better solution than what I have. All right, so what I've done, I have uh, the 10 tables here, the 11 sessions going across, and for each one, I've randomly assigned the 100 people using sequence of 100 and then sort by random array of 100. So you see it just randomly assigns people. And then over here, I have a matrix that checks to see, you know, person one met person two, person three, person four, and I have some VBA that will fill that in, right? And ideally, we'd have 9,900 meetings because you can't meet, your, meet yourself. Uh, and in this particular case, I've gotten to about 62% of that. Uh, and if I come down here, like there's one person, two people that have been at the same table five times. I hope they don't hate each other. Uh, and there's a little frequency distribution down here to see the quality. There are 3,704 people that never met, um, 3,676 people that met once, 1,854 that met twice, and so on, all right? And, uh, you know, once I had this macro that would do it once, then I had it run for a thousand times. It took about 30 minutes or so. Actually, I don't know because I went away and started doing other things and I came back and it was done. And the best quality I could get was 6588. I had the macro save it back here, uh, you know, and there's the frequency distribution for the best. But this is far from the goal. The goal is to have everyone meet everyone else once, right? And I went out to Google and I looked, there must be software that does this already, you would think, uh, but I can't find anything, right? So here's the question for you. How would you attack this problem in Excel? I'll take this workbook and save it out to OneDrive. I'll put a link down in the YouTube description. Let me know what you come up with.